Hey guys, Iron Destruction here. We are going to be making a amazing cannon. This is basically the cannon that we have. We have a massive uh, wall with water, of course, because that's what all the bases have. And this is basically just a hybrid cannon. And I'm going to do a quick fly around of the cannon. And NUK9 is going to be building the cannon. Swag. He's going to be building another one right over here so that you guys can know how to build it. This, we had a different cannon just like this, but we kind of edited it. We edited it to make it look like this, and it actually works pretty much the same, and it even works better, and it's a lot more resource efficient. So this is probably the best way to make this type of cannon, if you see something like this. Okay, so um, I'm just going to continue the quick fly around. All the um, repeaters are pretty much unfoldedly, but we'll get to that building stuff later. So now we're actually going to fire the cannon. So usually, right. there, it's, it's, you can do a one-man person. Like, this can be a one-person cannon, because you can stack. First of all, you have to place a cobweb. Um, you have to put, place a cobweb right there, and then you stack sand. This can be a one-man cannon, because you could stack sand and then watch over here, and then just go press the button. But, in my opinion, it's easier to per two people, because, I mean, we have two people anyway. So we're going to demonstrate this cannon. Do you want to stack first? Do you want to stack up, Nolan? Uh, Should we stack right. up? Okay, okay, I just broke the stacking. hybrid. I broke the hybrid thing. So I'm going to be stacking, and you're going to press the button. I'm going to stack. I'm going to stack. Okay. okay, I got this. Um, okay, so I'm going to stack sand. So right now we're just stacking. Okay, fire. If you can really stack as much sand as you want. It doesn't matter too much. Because it's going to fire... Sometimes at the very start, it fires like one, and then eventually it'll start firing like five, six, like, stacking, like, six to five, uh, sand per shot. Okay, fire. Yeah. You can really fire, like, ev like maybe after, like, four or five sand things. The first couple, yeah, it stacks, like, one sand, but eventually it'll start stacking more. It's a very effective, like, resource-efficient can. Yeah, you should fire now. Alright. I just like to stack a lot of sand, because I'm in creative. See, that stacked like two sand, that stacked like four sand action, I believe. <coughs> so we're gonna stack a little bit higher, maybe like two more shots or three more shots, and then we'll actually shoot the TNT to break through the wall. We're just stacking up to pretend like the base is in the middle. Okay, so as you can see, it works extremely well. It's super fluid, like it works pretty much every single time, unless you built it wrong, which we're gonna do like a how to build it, so. Uh, Except well, for that. That's what happens when you. That's what happens when you stack a bit too much. Yeah, that's sand. what happens when you stack a bit too much sand. Going back on my words there. Yeah, if you stack too much sand, it gets to the bottom of the cobweb, and then it just like, it just falls out and lands on this, and then it just explodes. So don't stack too much sand. That's bad. So yeah, and yeah, I forgot to mention that. If that didn't happen, that would have been really bad. You guys would have stacked like fifty sand. Okay, um, fire. I'm going to show the stacking sand. So if it gets to the bottom of the cobweb, then it should be really bad. So, um, that stacked stack like none. too much sand. Yeah, I didn't, I don't, didn't really put any sand in, really. I only put a couple. Yeah, so you don't want it to get to the very bottom. What? What it just that? happened? Just a baller, bro. And sometimes, apparently, it does. <laughs> that was literally the first time it's ever happened, but okay. That's so apparently, it's like a it's left ever... shooter, too. It's like a left shooter, bro. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it can, apparently sometimes. it can do that sometimes. Okay, now we're gonna actually fire a uh, hybrid. So we'll turn on. Right. I'm gonna turn on the hybrid. And this, this is very important. This comparator needs to be turned on. And I don't know why it stacked that sand. That was very random. That's never happened for like ever. Okay. That was really right, but... weird. Okay, I'm gonna start stacking. Um, Fire. Now we'll shoot it with the TNT. Shoot it with the and TNT. It should hopefully... And if it doesn't glitch, like sometimes it feels kind of glitchy. If it doesn't glitch like that, it doesn't okay, glitch. Yeah, oh no, no, it worked. It worked. It worked a little bit. Right. It broke through a little bit. Yeah. Now you should use your uh, thing and redo the wall right there. Actually, should redo the All wall. Right. We have uh, we have uh, what's it called? On this server, we have world edit on the server, so we can just regen these walls. That's why we're using it to demo on the server. It is a little bit laggy because there's so many cannons. It's basically just a uh, cannoning server just for testing your cannons. And see, right, it works. It works extremely well. 
He usually makes a pattern like yeah. this. So it actually works extremely well. So it's a very good cannon. If you build it out of silver fishes, then you'll get some silver fishes. So that's just a bonus. Like that's the bonus to this cannon. If you build the if someone has like a wall of silver fishes, then you break them. And then the silver fishes come out and then you can just kill them. You just kill all the silver fishes. Just kill all of them. So basically it works extremely good. It works almost every single time. And if you, uh, if it does either mess up, it's either because the server is lagging, so the timing gets off a little bit, or something's insanely, like, odd, like, it's literally, like, one in a million, like, a billion chance it doesn't work. Because every can is like that, there's always, like, a one in a billion chance that it won't work. So if something like that happens and it, like, blows up your can or something, it's either, like, the lag, or, yeah, basically just a bunch of things. That can happen, but it's very rare to not work. It almost always works. It's a very reliable cannon, resource efficient, and yeah. So we're gonna watch NDK now and build this bad boy. So right. me and him, yeah. me and him designed. He, me and him designed this cannon. He just edited a little bit. He made it more compact like this. But we basically, basically just we made the cannon both of us on this server, and he just edited it to make it a little bit more compact. Yeah. Okay, so start building. Yep. Start building. Alright, so uh, I guess I'll just start with the barrel kind of. So, I'll just. And then Got you have thing. your two dispensers there. This is and for breaking. Two pistons yeah, there. With water. Pistons here are for stacking the sand. And then basically how this works, if you didn't know, um, I'm actually not going to fly away from this, because this is important oh, if you guys want to see this. And, then and you just put there. slabs there. Do that. Hold on, I don't have And make sure more. you build your cannon out of um, dispensers, not droppers. Because I've done that before, where I build my cannon out of droppers. Oh. And it just drops all the TNT. It doesn't actually shoot it. So you have your button there. And then you have two dispensers on either side of the water. Yep. That's going to be the this launching is TNT. Your propellant. And if the cannon is shooting like too far, you can always take TNT out of here. Since I have slash fill, I'm going to do that. So if you wanted less power, you could take like maybe you could take all the stuff out of like this uh, one. Yeah. And then you could shoot it and it would, wouldn't shoot as far. So if you want less power, you take the TNT out. Alright, so I'm just going to. Make these repeaters go back here. That's just because I want to make use a resource efficient. All the like, because you could put like seven repeaters on this side and then ten repeaters yeah, on, that on that side. side. That costs like seventeen repeaters. So I'm just putting seven repeaters. Oops, I made that uh, one too short. Yeah. So I'm just putting seven repeaters right here, and then I only have to put three more on that one side. Just to make it cost the, uh, a little less. If I'm correct, the spam, like the spam actual, like the thing that actually breaks the wall, what do you call that? The the spammer thing that goes inside the sand and breaks the wall. It's basically like, you're actually like, literally what's hybriding. Basically what's hybriding is these two um, things, and then this pistons. That's what, that's what making, that's what's making the hybrid actually like a hybrid. Alright, so and yeah. then over here, uh, I'll connect this And I'm just going to do this for you. I believe this is all on full ticks. Yeah, so right? all the repeaters are on full ticks. And make sure you don't put the repeaters facing the wrong way, because that could be really bad. Because then, instead <laughs> of making the redstone signal go this way, it's just going to stop right here. Because it's going to go this way. Which yeah. is going to be really bad, so do not do that. Alright, make sure over it's here I'm going right to power way. up the uh, TNT that you're actually going to be shooting. Yes. And now right here, put a comparator there, put redstone leading and back into it, and comparator. make sure to turn that, that turn that off. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, make, make, make the sure to turn that comparator on. on. Or else it won't spam. And it, then y it's going to be really hard to actually break through the wall. You're going to have to shoot multiple yeah. shots. So it's going to be really All hard right. to actually break through the wall without this spammer. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, I messed something up. This is supposed to be one more back. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. We only Sometimes need we four, four repeaters on the bottom, and then three on the top. Three on That's the top. Seven repeaters. That's seven repeaters. Which is exactly how Enough much for the, the the delay for the TNT shooting. But since the pistons have to go off a little later, we actually need ten full repeater checks for that. So you're gonna need um, to add three more so repeaters three for this more side. Repeaters. So that it doesn't like uh, the, it doesn't push it in here, and then it just falls on the slabs and breaks. And the reason why there's slabs here is I'm gonna go back to the building while I'm explaining this. Basically, what the slabs do is if you stack too much sand or your uh, piston delay is off, it's mo mostly if your piston delay is off, and it pushes it forward. It will hit the slabs and it will just break the sand, so your barrel doesn't get clogged up by the sand and it nukes your cannon. Yeah, Alright, so I added three more uh, repeaters on here full delay. because we need extra delay on this. Powering both the pistons. And I believe and, uh, that is done. Right? Yeah, I should be so. good. So we're We've gonna got do this. These dispensers and powered, okay, this we need to explain powered. how how you like stack sand and turn on the hybrid. So um, turning on the hybrid would be turning on these two spammer things, which just spams TNT, which gets propellant by this, and then it lands in the sand. So basically, if you want to stand stack, so say you hit this wall, there's this big wall in front of the base. Well, if you just hybrid right off the bat, you're going to break through like the very, very, very bottom layer. Or maybe then, not even. Or maybe not even, if it's a sky base. Or you might not even do it. Because sometimes what happens with the cannon and a lot of hybrid cannons is the TNT will actually fall before the sand. Yeah. And if that happens and you don't have any sand stacked, it'll just fall and blow up midair. Which is why you need to stack sand so they both land on the both yeah. the TNT and the sand land on the sand. Yeah. That's already stacked. And mostly so that the they both blow up. bases, most bases are like right in the middle of the walls. There's not a yeah. lot of bases that are at the very bottom, and then they have like a crap ton of uh, high. So yeah, when you're starting to use this cannon, you don't want to use the TNT. The shooting, hybrid you just want to stack some so sand. So if you want to break the, uh, if you don't want to blow up the wall yet, you want to break this block. Or, or this one, or, or this that one, one, or this one, or the, any of oh, these. Like, any of these. You could break this one, you could break this, like, you could break, just use your common sense, you could break, like, pretty much any of them connecting to this. One, shut up. So, <laughs> just a rude brother storm. Um, oh my gosh. Uh, so basically, we're going to fire this cannon now. So we turned off, we just turned off the hybrid, and it's the same cannon as over there. So we're going to stack some sand. So I'm going to demonstrate how this can be a one-man cannon, okay? So I'm gonna, okay, oh. never mind. I'm not All going right, to. <laughs> I'll do it the next time. Yeah, the first shot. Oh. 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 That did you place some work. place some stuff wrong? Did I put them in the wrong way? Just like we weren't supposed to. Okay. Well, let, let's try that again. I think I had that. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Strange. Like cannoners derp sometimes. Like you gotta like you gotta give us some credit. Like, we're gonna mess okay. up sometimes. Yeah, it might take you a couple eh. tries. <laughs> this is what pro cannons do. Like, they just, like, to cannon, you have to mess up sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna shoot. Now, hopefully. Eh, something's not right. Okay, something's not right. So, this is what you get, this is what you do as a cannon. Oh, wait, wait. Well, let me get my emeralds back. We're just using the emeralds because they look swag. Okay, now I'm just gonna test this. Okay. We're just gonna test I must this. Okay. I um, probably had it facing the wrong way. Let me just test it again. One more time, I'm gonna test this. Oh, I see what's happening. This is not connected. Let me bring this one block back. And then, uh, one block up. Like, See, like, the, like, oh, like over here, like just this, <laughs> like over there. I'm gonna need to use glowstone for this so that the it redstone actually connects. Now yeah, it should work. Exactly. Now it should actually work. That's how you don't build a cannon. This is how you do build a cannon. So you need to make sure. <laughs> okay, now okay. it's working. So I'm gonna do a fly around yeah, of this. So you have three repeaters, full delay on this side with this connected to these two pistons. Make sure it's connected to this top thing and make sure you don't yeah. put it like that. Or else I don't think it will activate the top one. Yeah. So you need to make sure. 
yeah, I'm building out of monster eggs, because why not? Um, so yeah, you have to make sure it's connected to the top. So you have three pistons all, right, so all facing there. Not pistons, uh, repeaters, sorry. Connected up right, to here. This. Comparator there. You need these two things here, like, you really, really need them. These two redstone. And then, if you want to turn on your hybrid, remember, you break one of these blocks. And then, this is basically what's, like, saving you the resources, is you have seven delay here because this uses seven delay and this uses ten so instead of having like seven delay seven repeaters over here and ten repeaters over here you're just using the seven delay from the spammer and you're just uh adding more three more for the uh for the piston and yeah, make sure they're all right. facing the right way so every all the repeaters are all on full delay and, all right. Yeah. So now that we had that problem now, fixed, now that we fixed that the problem, that apparently like must have, like glitched or something, because yeah. repeaters can be glitchy, redstone can be glitchy. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate how a single man can. It. So you can just go over and press it. So you can do it like single man. You can do it grouped. Oh, it stacked a lot of sand. See, sometimes it stacks a lot of sand. First try. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. doesn't. Okay, you can press it if you want. Two man, one man, really doesn't matter. And that time didn't stack that much. That time didn't stack that much. So it's really right. just so. the luck of where the sand is. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, it depends. Like, if you hit, I think the best way to stack sand is if you, like, you stack a lot of sand early, and then you kind of delay, and then stack some later, like, right before you shoot. And then what will happen is some will shoot near the bottom, some will shoot near the top. Or you can just delay your fam like a crap ton and then like spam a little bit. And then delay yeah. a crap ton and it'll stack some time. more sand. No, no. So basically, okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna hybrid now. So we're gonna want to place this redstone back. So these spammers will go, I'm just gonna do slash fill, this, that's just a server thing. You're actually gonna have to manually fill this all up with TNT. And now I was about to stack TNT like that. Like, that's not what you do. You want to stack sand. So I'm going to place this sand, and now you should place it. Now we are hybriding. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends where the TNT lands. It's all basically a luck thing. So most of the time it does work, but sometimes if you stack, uh, if the sand just is just really weird, sometimes it doesn't work. But it's very, it, like, it works pretty much the whole, most of the time. Like, yeah, like, it works most of the time. You can stack in there. And now the server is getting all glitchy again. Because it was doing this earlier, and it wasn't actually exploding. Yeah, I'm just going to pretend that that didn't happen. I'm going to demonstrate something here. Basically, what happens is you stack a bunch of sand. I'm going to place that there so you know there's water here. There's water all the way here. And if I light this TNT, and then the sand falls on it. See, that's just a glitch in the server right now, so it won't actually blow it up. But that would have actually blown up probably the same as this over here. It's just kind of a glitch in the server. I'm just shooting a bit more. And sorry that the team speak is kind of glitchy. Sorry that the team speak is kind of glitchy. But it's just that someone's like DDoSing the team speak that we're using. Some guy, some hacker just DDoSing it. So anyway, so that's basically the cannon. It's a very good cannon. It works, um... Yeah, yeah, boys. Um, so yeah, it works most of the time. Some of the time it doesn't work, but most of the time it does. I hope you enjoyed this cannon. Uh, if you like this cannon, uh, like the video. And it was also me and Nolan's idea, so give credit to both of us, because it was our ideas. So, right, you should go sub to NDK9. We're starting to kind of lag here. That's why the TNT isn't working. So, as I said, if it lags, your server's, like, really laggy or something, the TNT cannon might not work just because it might mess up the delays or the TNT just actually just, like, it won't hybrid. It's because how laggy yeah. it is. So, a couple of the shots probably would have hybrided. Just a little bit laggy. So, you mean you can't really yeah. handle that. But, anyway... Yeah, that um, server's been laggy recently. Yeah, so, yeah, if you raid, like, I've raided with this cannon a bunch on Timeless PvP, which is a faction yeah. server I play on. 
so, uh, yeah, that's really, really good. Um, like, it works on there perfectly. So, um, yeah, I know, th I know this cannon works, like, really good, so. Uh, yeah, you can modify it a little bit, like, over there it's like that, but over here it's like this. Like, you can do a, a little bit of modifications, and it won't harm it too much. Just don't mess up anything with, like, the timers or anything, because the timers are pretty much good. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the cannon. Go like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And also go subscribe to NDK9 because he's just the most baller person ever. And, uh, yeah, hope you like the cannon. Easy, simple cannon. Got, we got we got stamps out each other. Sign out, boys. So, everybody, our instruction. Signing out. I'm the most baller person ever. Okay. Goodbye.